Hello everyone, this is Final Gamer James, taking you on a magical mystery tour of death, and poverty and destruction, and oh, wait, my mistake, this is a geography game on the NES. So, as I've explained in the thread, pretty much all know what Mario's missing is, but since the game's educational quality is suspect, I wanted to make a little interesting idea of having the goons all around the world help us understand and explain the different places of the world. And, of course, I'm just one simple guy with a high school education in the UK. So, I can't really do that much, but since it's the test post, I'm just going to try and do my best here. Of course we go, I'll explain the mechanics of the game, basically. Um, Bowser's Castle, Koopas all over the world, kidnapping priceless artifacts. We gotta go and do stuff about it. First we get a phone call in this new city from a mayor who doesn't tell us the city we're in. Thanks, mayor. <sighs> so, um, we have Jump, and that's about it. We also have Yoshi, Luigi, and a question mark. You actually have to go through them using the select button, and you can't go back. You basically just go forwards. Question mark, which you activate with start, is where you can ask people where you are. Like this guy helpfully did. We're in New York City. That PDA thing, I'll explain later. So, you know, we can talk to people. Some people are very obvious, some people are a little more obtuse. Other people have joined us, like this poor kid here. I'm very unfortunate, sadly I can't give money to this kid. Yoshi is a mechanic here, and this is why you have to ask people about where you are. You go across the land, moving Yoshi around in order for you to be able to find where you will be. So say we get Yoshi to New York City and we guess right, Yoshi is now with us! Yoshi doesn't do anything other than jump higher and run faster. And that's about it, basically. It's just a little boost of an upgrade. Um, so I don't know much about New York, I've never been to New York, I've never been outside Europe. Koopa! This is the main crux of the game. Now we have a new thing activated, the, ah, the map. The map is basically just that. It tells you where the information centers are, and if you know what New York is, like that statue in the harbor, you kind of already can tell without needing to ask anyone. So anyways, this money bag, this is the artifacts that the Koopa stole. Can you guess what it is? Also, this is the only piece of a music that's not, uh, that's not original. It's the only good music in the game. Um, so we now can ask people, what the hell is this? <clears throat> so, we've already started off with the game throwing us fiction. And this is the wrong place, so I have to go somewhere else. This is basically the game. You go around, finding the Koopas, stomping the shit out of them, and collecting the stuff. So you're basically mugging Koopas. Which is quite appropriate for the first city being New York, I guess. Now that I would know. <clears throat> now we can ask this person, what's this thing? Oh, wait, never mind. It basically all the character models is like five different NPCs in the air in the games, and they all will say the same thing of one item. Like this guy with the red pants, he will always tell you that big ape will give me a hand on the 102nd floor. <clears throat> um, yeah. So you go to these sites, and you ask, what's the problem? Oh, someone's stolen King Kong! Well, even though I'm pretty sure Americans don't own it. You know, RCA, free contract. That's how King Kong 2 existed. So, we go through this. Get, you can find out little information about the places you're going to from other people. And once you're ready to return something, you go to a woman and say, I'd like to return this place. For example, we found from that uh, dipshit with the red pants that 102 stories is how tall the Empire State Building is. You get money, and that's about it. The money is just a score, and nobody cares about it. It's tax-free. Also, that torch we picked up from before, well, it's a symbol of French-American friendship. I guess... Oh, of course. So, you can just... Oh, hang on. I'm not going to be able to talk to every single person and get every single bit of information, 
but we can find some interesting stuff. Apparently, the Statue of Liberty was sculpted after the sculptor's mom. I actually did not know this. That is very interesting. Uh, now, normally we'll be, uh, I'll be doing this with other people, but this is a test post to see if you guys enjoy it or not. Um, I'd like to return this torch, please. Sometimes the game is kind of forgetting it. And American let's check. Masters, you need to be free. Oh yeah, the money is tax-free, not that that matters. Also, you can't go into the exhibits and actually check with them. At least not in this version. This PDA gives you all the information you have picked up throughout the game. Which is quite useless, really. I mean, this is a game aimed for seven year olds. It's not like you're expecting anything special. Um, we have one more thing to find and one more Cooper, which is somewhere down south. Now, I admit I've never been to New York, and this won't be the first time we visit New York in this series of games since it's a regular city. Also a lion. Shit, what do we do now? Lion? Uh, kind of... what? I can't kind of top that. New York? New York? Who says that? Anyways, Carnegie Hall. Um, this part always kind of confuses me, I'm not sure, um, uh, th this, this particular building, someone will be, when I'm actually working with someone else, I can be able to explain, like, how things are going, um, but for now, I'm just kind of demonstrating the game, I don't know what the, the statue that overlooks the, Rockefeller uh, skating rink? Maybe I should make a new video of this. This is a test video. Anyways, I took a while thinking this and had to remember back to Futurama when they had the skating rink. And I thought, that's Prometheus, isn't it? Yeah. And then the giant space station falls and rolls across the skating rink and everyone has to skate out of the way. No. So, there, we finished the first level. That was New York. Um, sorry I keep skipping in and out of the map so quickly because I really don't enjoy it. And that, that it's such threatening that music. Once you're finished with the city and collected everything, you can leave. Huzzah! We finished. Oh god, I said huzzah. Oh, that's it. It's a new video. So that's the test post demonstrated. I hope people pick up on the LP and see you all around.